Step down, PDP tells President Muhammadu Buhari. And in a dose state, supporters of the APC and PDP clash. This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladende. Welcome back. This is Plus Politics. I am Kyle Deladende. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has called for the resignation of President Muhammadu Buhari for failure to successfully defeat the spate of insecurity and corruption across the country. That is according to PDP. The PDP further argued that the corruption taking place in the country gives the impression that the nation is dying and has been a scramble for what one can get out of it before the final death. On insecurity, the PDP national chairman Uche Sekundo said it was evident that Buhari's administration has run out of propaganda with regards to the worsening security situation in Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this is a member of PDP, Oladimeji Fabi. Oladimeji, good evening. How are you doing? I'm great. And we also have uh, Joe Igbokwe, who is the chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, the ruling party. Engineer Joe Igbokwe, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let me start with PDP. Uh, and um, as much as um, I, I don't want to preempt what ABC will be saying, listening to this kind of call coming from PDP. And the question will be, why are you in a hurry? Why do you want the president out of seat? Well, thank you very much. Uh, PDP as uh, the major opposition party in Nigeria today, of course, you, would, you shouldn't expect anything less from the party, uh, more especially when um, it is obvious that uh, uh, the president of the country, as it were, is uh, underperforming. Uh, but for me, and that is the position of my party, um, I, 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 I don't blame my party for saying that because they have to, because they must have, the party has weighed all the programs and the performances of the president and they found out that, oh, Mr. President, you are not, you've not done well. And in a, in a, in a civilized, uh, more civilized nation, when you are faced uh, with uh, uh, the record of underperformance, uh, the, the, the most horrible thing for you to do is to excuse yourself and let those who can actually deliver the goods for the people to come on board. But beyond that, in my own personal view, um, I have never seen, I, 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 I'll, I'll see it as a call that will never uh, be, be, be answered because I've never seen, not just even President Muhammad Ubari, I've never seen any African leader or even a Nigerian leader that has, that has stepped down willingly or that has resigned even when their record of performances uh, is staring them in the face. So if you if you if you make that kind of call, I, I know I know one thing for sure that it's not going to be honoured, and the, the president will not resign. So why make the call then? So, but uh, as as a member of the opposition party, I think the the the, the, the current leadership, uh, the current government has not done, have not lived up to the uh, expectation of. Okay, of, thank of, you, Fabi. Thank you for your opening remark, and it's good that you separate your opinion from that of your party. Engineer Joe, we are reminded of your mantra when you came into government to fight insecurity, to, to, to give us enough jobs, and to clean the, the, the audience table by dealing with the issue of corruption. Now, according to PDB, these two, it appears you are getting one over three. In fact, if not zero over three. That in times of security, it seems you've lost touch. In times of fighting corruption, it seems you've lost your bearing. What do you have to say? And you believe them? It's a question. We're, try we're trying to clear the audience table that left behind in 16 years. We are talking about security. We have better security records in five years than 16 years of PDP. Don't forget, the terrorists were coming from. They bombed the United Nations um, garages. They did nothing. Have you ever heard that they, 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 they came into 
since the last five years. We are better off security wise in the past five years compared to PDP 15 years. In fact, you cannot make this and all apple and orange comparison. This is the, we are trying to clear the audience table they left behind. Well, where am I going? Where will I start? Whatever mess you see today is what they created. They don't understand the art of governance. It's if you, I'm an engineer. If you bring down, if I throw a four victory 50 story, story building, it will just turn into robots. It will take you two years to clear the robots before you even start rebuilding. Have they built the Twin Towers in the US? Have they? It is easy to destroy, but it is not easy to. <laughs> That's why we are. They will tell you, Buhari is not fighting corruption. I'll be, okay, you saw the money. You saw the houses they seized. You saw the cars. All these things you see, NBDC, we are talking about today. Okay. Uh, uh, Engineer Joe, I, 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 I'm sure this must be fixed. Is this a network issue? Uh, no thanks to a very poor network, but we will definitely bring you back if it means getting you via phone. We will need to get your perspective. Now, if I hear what Engineer Joe was saying clearly, let me go back to Fabi. What he's saying clearly is that um, you have given APC work to do that uh, it's been 16 years of mess, uh, not my word, it's been 16 years of quantum form of corruption, and that's what they are still busy cleaning up. How true is this? Uh, Mr. Egoku, any time is on, is on, is on air, because uh, he's a man that always gets sensational, and uh, I, I don't blame him as a member of the APC. But on a, on a more serious note, I wonder how someone would tell me that the government, uh, why, how somebody will sit, tell me that they are clearing the mess PDP are left behind. Okay, let us assume, me, let's assume without considering that PDP didn't even do anything in, in that 16 years. Today, your government is in power. Today, you are in control of all security apparatus and everything. What have you done? to improve the security laws of Nigerians. To every day, killings upon killings. Just a few days ago in Kaduna, we lost some, uh, over almost 40 or 50 people. In other parts of the country, every day is insecurity. You cannot even travel from Abuja to Kaduna with rest of mind, from Abuja to Lokoja, from Lokoja to Benin, killing, kidnapping, banditry every day. And somebody will tell me they are clearing the mess we created. So these same killings, this same kidnapping, this same banditry are, being, are the creation of PDP. Is that what APC is telling us? So they shouldn't take us for, for, for a ride. I, I, I wonder where the record is coming from. And that is the reason PDP is saying, Mr. President, you have not done well. Uh, you seem to like the capacity to do this kindly step back. They came on board, they said they would, uh, I mean, give us security, they will uh, tackle uh, corruption. But well, what have they done? even in terms of corruption we're talking about. So, but the only excuse they give every time is the PDP, 16 years of PDP misrule. So if PDP, if you are, if, if you are in control, I mean, if you are put in a position of authority, you are expected to fix the situation. Why are they finding it difficult to fix it? They should fix it rather than blaming PDP. My own take on the issue of corruption is very simple. Corruption does not differentiate between PDP and APC. It is a national malaise. It's a national challenge. It's a national problem. We must come together and fight because it's killing us. It's killing. It has it has entered enter so deep into into in, into our bones, to our marrow, into everything as a nation. So we must all come back, come together, and do that. From pre-independence to first republic to every successive government in this country, there has been one cases of corruption or the other. So if it happens under PDP leadership, it's not something new. PDP tried as much as possible to clear this mess. A lot of people were prosecuted and sent to jail. High-profile cases. Under APC government, how many high-profile cases have been successfully prosecuted? Okay. Mr. Jerry Gbokwe. Fabi, we have the uh, Joey Gbokwe is back to, to, to respond to you now. So many. Okay, Fabi. 
Let Joe Goku is back to respond to you now. Uh, Mr. Joe, can you just finish your thoughts on what you were saying earlier on and uh, put into perspective what Fabi has brought in now, the recent killings and some of these things that provoke PDP to say that it should step down? Engineer Joe, are you with me? I'm with you. Please, can, can you hear you me now? Yeah, we can hear you clearly now. Okay, Go ahead. I, I was telling you that our five years in government is far more better in matters of security than PDP's 16 years. And I've told you that Abuja was, was bombed, United, United Nations headquarters, army barracks, police headquarters, garages in Abuja, without anybody, they couldn't even achieve anything in matters of security. So this is five years of APC in government, and they have not been able to infiltrate into the, into, into, into the seat of government in Abuja. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Security is an issue, and we are dealing with it head on. It's impossible for you to drive into Abuja and wreck havoc and go. It's not possible. We are clearing the mess. The mess of 16 years cannot be cleared in just five years. You know, when a government has been in power for many years, they make laws that will suit them, that will help them to continue to do what they are doing. They make laws to help themselves. That is what we are seeing today. He's talking about, he's talking about the economy. He's talking about he's talking about corruption. I've told you. Look at have you seen the money that we have seized? The houses, the cars, some of them ran away. Wrote in the NDDC, wrote everywhere, PSCN. They have committed us to, 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 to be paying $13 million, whether we have light or no light every month. And if we fail to do that, they will go and withdraw one billion. In the foreign reserve this is what corrupt people fix in put in place to continue to milk this country you know i told you they set up structures structures to continue to even eat from the government even even when they are still outside even when they are still outside the government they still put structures in place to continue to milk the government that is the issue that we are dealing with so they have the what is what is the meaning of asking the president to resign? The one that is building for what they destroyed in 16 years. You, you now want to tell the president what to do. Okay, Engineer Joe. What record do you have? Engineer Joe, uh, what uh, record do you have? Before we leave you, before we go back mm. to Fabi, can you mm. also explain the concern of Nigerians now? Maybe not just uh PDP. Uh, uh mm. if you came in on this mantra, I remember the first statement from the president when he said that uh, the military headquarters should relocate to Meduguri, and we saw how these local governments were recaptured. But as we speak, people are being beheaded. We're seeing people being killed in Southern Kaduna. I, I don't think this has to do with PDP calling for resignation. Don't you think the government is not doing enough? Let me take you. Let me, let me take you to the case of uh, Saran Kaduna. That problem has been lingering on for years. It is a case of people who who don't want to live together as as a people. In, if you remember, a few years back in the days of Babangida, Major General Zamani Lekwot would have been killed, would have been sentenced to death through hanging because of this enmity between the House of Lani and the Christians of Southern Kaduna. He said, according to this they have refused to live together as a person. What do you do? People in one state, because of religion, they don't want to fashion a way to live together, re live a responsible life and responsive life. What do you do? We will continue to negotiate. We will continue to plead for peace. We will continue to preach that people should respect the fundamental human rights of, of one another. That's where we are. The Southern Kaduna issue has been a recurring decimal. 
They have refused to live together as civilized people. What do we do? I, I, Can't I, you hear the governor talking? I, I'm sure one of the reasons why we put people in government is to answer this question. It's going to be resolved. The, but the, people must make up their mind. It is no war. People are not coming from Cameroon to fight us. It's brothers against brothers. But when people kill, I think they should also be dealt with. But I'll, I'll come back to that. Let's listen to Fabi now. Fabi, it, it, are we going to look at this thing as a national war that we must win rather than a partisan war? Exactly, exactly. That's what I just, I just mentioned that in my earlier remarks. That uh, for me, uh, for instance, uh, the corruption issue should, should, should be taken away from partisan issue. Because it's, uh, it's, it's something that is, it's, like I said, it's a national malady, it's a national issue, it's a national malady, it's a national phenomenon, it's a national challenge. So we have every reason to come together. Corruption, I told you, does not differentiate between APC or PDP or between a, woman and a, a man and a woman. It's affecting everybody. So when sometimes I listen to some of the speakers of APC and they come on board and the next thing they say is it was PDP that caused it was PDP. Like I told you, look at our history. There's no successive government that has not had one issue of corruption or the other. So uh, well, we cannot run away from the fact and that's what makes it a situation where all of us must come together and forget about this partisanship issue. But on the issue of security, when you are put in a position of authority, you are supposed to fix the problem. The government of President Muhammad Bari has failed in securing Nigeria as they promised when they were campaigning. I challenge Mr. Joe Ibokwe to come and travel by road from Kaduna to from Abuja to Kaduna tomorrow. I challenge him to come and travel from Lokoja to Benin, so that perhaps. Because he's in Lagos, he may not know what is going on. I challenge him to come and travel from Adamawa to, to Taraba, from Gombe to Borno. Then he want, perhaps you understand better what we're trying to say. The level of insecurity in this country is alarming. And any, every right thinking people will, ask, will query this government, that will want, they, will, they will tell this leadership of the government to, to please leave because we cannot fix it. To even remove, to, I mean, to remove the service chiefs is a problem. So what are we doing as a nation? And somebody will come here and be telling the public that they have done well, but it's a, it's a PDP mistake for 16 years. Ah, so sorry, sorry, Thank sorry. Thank you so I, much. I, I just, I just uh, can't uh, fathom uh, that. Engineer Joe, uh, let's, yes. let's, let's, look, let's look at the issue of corruption because it yes. appears two of you have agreed that we should confront the issue of uh, security head on. But what about mm. issue of corruption? This thing is becoming quite embarrassing. We have seen cases of minister, we have seen cases of parastators, and the people are left, you know, in the dark. What do you think should be done decisively now as a good Nigerian? Let me tell you, if you, like I said, if you, if you allow a system to be saddled with corruption for years, it will be difficult for you to, for you to reduce it but if you work harder like this government is doing setting examples jailing people recovering the property some of them have been chased up abroad and now we are unveiling what is happening in mbdc in some of this thank god you even have a government that is making these things open it's not that it's the thing started today it's not today mbdc was plundered for years 20 years, people collect contracts and Engineer they are Joe, not, can I quickly not, come in here? Can I quickly mm -hmm. come in so that you can continue? You can come in, you can Is come in. Is this a function of this government or an arm of government comprising different parties bringing it to the open? This probe was not instituted by the executive, if I'm wrong, correct me. Mm. You said what, well, please, please repeat what this you said. This probe, from my mm. understanding, was uh, instituted by an arm of government, not the federal government that is, uh, I mean, that is being run by APC. I think it's important we correct that if that is the no, no, position. No, 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 no. If you, whatever you achieve in any sector of this country, it, it will be attributed to the president. So if you don't know about it, you just get quiet. You know the man. Okay. He just get quiet. It's not that he does not know about it. He initiated it, and it's happening. The system will unravel these things. If he does not want it, he knows, he knows what to do, and they will stop. 
So don't say it's the system. Okay. It's the man that allowed it. Okay. If you see these things going on, know that the man, has he ever said anything? He has not said anything. Which tells you that he knows what is going on and he's in charge and he gets reports. Okay. Mm. So why we wait for that? Uh, Fabi, will you be patient to see the end of this matter? How, how can I be patient? Nigeria has become a desperate nation. When families cannot feed, when father cannot feed, feed their children, when, 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 when um, uh, brothers cannot help sisters, when children cannot feed their parents, cannot help anybody. So how can I be patient? They, are, they, were, they, they, they came on, on the mantra of fixing the, the, the seemingly, according to them, you know, the things that PDP couldn't do in 16 years. And it's taking, it's taking them, they said they can fix. I remember I was reading somewhere when they said the Minister of uh, Power said, if you cannot fix power in six months, then they should be stoned. And so many things like that. So why are the excuse now? So that's how easy it is. To, uh, that means that was, that's how easy it is to govern. So this, you know, the simple thing is that these guys lack the capacity to deliver the goods. The truth of the matter is that they like the way with that they lack all it takes to, 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 I mean, to take Nigeria out of the current challenges we have. And that's why the party, a responsible opposition party is asking them to resign. They have left that hole for Lisa to enter because they've not been able to manage it very well. There are so many things that is wrong with this government. It's not just about security. It's not just about corruption. Even economically, where are we? Even okay, the foreign, internationally, foreign affairs, where are we? Let so, me ask you the final yeah, question. Since I started said, this conversation with you, I will end with you, Bokoe. But let me ask you this final question. If I get you clearly, you have a different opinion, not totally different from your party, but you have a different opinion that the call for resignation is almost... It's almost a, waiting it's a waste for God of time. Waiting it's for a, God a So basically, time. what yes. is the way forward? How do we correct the wrong so that we can be on the same path to bring Nigeria to what we can be proud of? It is very simple. Um, I, I, nobody is expecting the leader, the Mr. President, Mr. President, to know it all. But you can sit down and look at people who can, uh, who can, who can, who can really help you to drive the process. You, can't, you don't have to limit them to your party alone, because Nigeria is a population of about almost 200 million people. Uh, the, uh, maybe the total population of PDP membership at is 30 million. In the APC, it's almost the same. So you quite can't pick from those people who have, who, who have the experience, who have what it takes to help you drive the process. Okay. Thank you so much. So I think these are the things they should do. They should, this government Thank should sit you. up. We I don't have somebody at the ends of affairs running the government right the now. Shorter, the the better. government is on autopilot, and that is dangerous for us. It's Thank dangerous. you so much. Oladi Meji Fabi, a member of PDP. But let me quickly get uh, Joey Bukwe's final comment on this. What is your word concerning these issues? Because as we speak, the people of Southern Kanduna are not happy. As we speak, a lot of people in Niger Delta are so incensed with the kind of figure that they hear, to the extent that the National Assembly has called for a fresh probe over the, uh, uh, the past MDs of NDDC. What is the way out? Well, good governance, and that's what we're doing. The probe you are seeing in matters of Niger Delta is, a, is, is the way to go. Find out those who, who looted that, that agency for, 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 for 20 years and bring them to book. And then view the, we're, we're, even, we're, even, we're even saying personally that we must take away the, lead, the leadership of that NDDC and bring someone else outside Niger Delta to come and manage it because of what we have seen. It takes a lot of courage to do what, it, what is going on now. You get it? Very well. So, he is talking about he's talk, you know, you know, talking about talking about development that we, that, we, that the government need to go and look for people who are going to run the government. Who are the people serving there? Pascal that served Lagos for eight years is there. Vice president is there. Uh, Amechi is there. Crop of professionals that have records coming from a very deep background are running. The, why we are still talking? Projects are going on across Nigeria. The type we have not, not seen before. 
in okay. the past 20, 30 years. Thank you so much. I, so, I, I, I don't know why Fabi is give laughing, it, give but it to you don't have the time of don't reply expect again. That it, don't, don't expect that PDP will tell you anything. The party is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Engineer You're Joey welcome. Bukwe. Uh, mm. A chieftain of APC, and we should also put it on record that he mm. was also the spokesperson of APC in Lagos. Fabi, let the conversation continue on our, all our social media, and uh, we'll hear more. You can never exhaust this discussion. Thank you, Fabi. Thank you, Joey Bukwe. You're welcome. And thank you for staying with us, our viewers. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, the clash of supporters in a dull state is up next for discussion. We'll be right back.